Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to talk about how and what type of uh, damages are caused by aphids. As you know, uh, aphids are the most common insect pest of um, many vegetables, row crops, fruits and ornamental plants. Aphids are small soft bodied insects about 1 to 10 mm long and pear shaped. They have long antenna uh, legs and piercing and sucking type of uh, mouth parts. Uh, depending upon their species they can be black, brown, green, red or yellow in color. Aphids can be wingless or winged but most of the aphids that we come across are wingless forms. Newly born aphids are called nymphs and they look like their parents. The life cycle of aphids consists of two types of reproduction such as uh, a sexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. It also consists of three developmental stages like eggs, nymphs and adults. Reproduction is called asexual reproduction when aphids are reproduced without mating. Almost all the species of aphids are generally produced uh, asexually. Those aphids that reproduce by mating are called sexually reproduced aphids. Asexually reproduced aphids generally give birth to live nymphs, whereas some individuals of asexually produced aphids uh, reproduce sexually and lay eggs as overwintering stages. These overwintering eggs hatch into nymphs early in the spring when uh, temperature starts warming up. Nymphs either hatched from eggs or directly born will start immediately feeding on the plant tissues using their piercing and sucking types of mouth parts. While feeding, nymphs develop through four developmental stages and become adults. As shown here uh, in the photograph on the right hand side, uh, you can see that most of the aphids are wingless, but when their population become too crowded, some individuals from colony will produce wings. These winged aphids will then fly away uh, from crowded aphid colony and find new host uh, where they will start new colony. Aphids generally produce multiple generations in a year. There are over 4000 species of aphids have been reported from all over the world. These species are responsible for causing economic losses to many plant species. Here I have listed few economically important species that cause damage to respective crops uh, for your information. Aphids generally cause two types of damages to their host plants. That includes direct feeding damage uh, to all plant parts and indirect damage by transmitting viral diseases to uh, many plant species. In case of direct feeding damage, aphids use their piercing and sucking types of uh, moth parts to suck juice from tender plant parts and that in turn can cause uh, symptoms like uh, curling of leaves, stunted plant growth, uh, reduction uh, in um, plant vigor and aesthetic values of many ornamental plants. In case of indirect damage, aphids uh, secrete honeydew on the surface of plant parts that become sticky and non-edible. Honeydew also promotes the growth of black sooty mold on the surface of uh, leaves and this uh, sooty mold affects the process of photosynthesis that in turn reduces the ability of plant to produce uh, their own food affecting plant growth. Black sooty mold also reduces the aesthetic value of many ornamental plants um, causing um, uh, huge economic losses to many nursery growers. Also indirect damage is caused to many plant species due to different kinds of viruses transmitted by aphids uh, while feeding on tender plant uh, parts. These uh, viral diseases can also cause uh, symptoms like yellowing and curling of leaves, stunted plant growth, reduced 
plant vigor and aesthetic values of many crops. Here are some common viral uh, diseases transmitted by aphids. Uh, they are listed on the right side of the slide for your information. For aphid management, growers generally use three different methods that include uh, chemical insecticides, cultural practices, and biological control agents uh, or natural enemies of uh, insects. Growers generally use toxic chemical uh, insecticides when there is heavy infestation of aphids. However, these toxic chemicals should, not, uh, should be avoided um, because of their detrimental effects on the um, human health and environment. These uh, chemical pesticides can also kill uh, natural enemies of uh, insects and they can also kill beneficial insects like honeybees. So therefore, it is recommended to use non-toxic um, uh, chemicals like uh, insecticidal soap and neem oil that can kill aphids by suffocation and dehydration. Growers can use cultural practices that, that are uh, safe uh, to the environment, humans, and beneficial or, uh, organism. The cultural practices include uh, sanitation, that is cleaning of the garden before planting of the plants, uh, removing of alternate hosts uh, that can uh, harbor the population of aphids, um, change the plant, planting time uh, according to the season, uh, use the trap crops to trap the um, aphids and destroy those trap crops uh, before planting your uh, plants, uh, real plants, uh, use resistant varieties. Also, uh, wash off the aphids from the plants with um, uh, gentle water spray, um, rubbing of uh, insects or aphids uh, with fingers or rub cloth and uh, you can use also physical barriers to avoid their entry into the garden. Sticky traps can be um, used to reduce the population uh, of the uh, flying insects or the, uh, the winged uh, aphids. The biological control agents um, is the best option to use because uh, these biological uh, agents are not harmful to the um, humans, uh, your pets and beneficial uh, insects like uh, honeybees or other natural enemies. These uh, biological control uh, agents uh, can be predatory insects including ladybugs beetles, green lace wings, um, wing larvae, soldier beetles, uh, serpid flies and different uh, types of um, uh, parasitic wasps. These um, Wasps can parasitize the aphids and kill them and the predatory insects uh, directly can uh, feed on the uh, aphids. Uh, and as I said, these are the um, biological agents are not harmful to the humans, pets uh, and uh, other uh, beneficial organisms. In the next slide uh, or in the next video, I will be uh, talking about using parasitic wasps uh, as biological control uh, agents uh, for the uh, management of aphids. Visit bugsforgrowers.com to gain practical knowledge about organic growing insect pest control practice that does not harm plants, people or pets. Uh, to read blogs on biological control uh, of insect pest of different uh, crops, animals, and honeybees hives. Thank you for watching. Please com comment, uh, like, share, and subscribe.